The history of development, in a nutshell, is an extension of the history of colonialism, by which we mean folks coming in from other parts of the world, telling people what to do and what's good for them, coming in with solutions without knowing local context, and also a history of exploitation and extraction. This is the highest wealth concentration in human history, and it's not by accident, it's by design and intention. And the question to ask is, what is the role of this private wealth? And how has this private wealth been made? It's been made through the exploitation of land and people, and through labor in this country of black and brown folks. So what would it look like for this private wealth to play a part in repairing relationships with land, in repairing relationships with people who have been exploited for this wealth generation? Those who are experiencing injustice are critical to overcoming it. And our partners challenged us by saying that these mainstream structures have historically excluded us. So what you need to do is you need to create a new structure that puts us not just in a tokenizing role, but in really a resource sharing, decision making role, which really involves sharing power and control. And if we bring a lens of love into our impact investing relationships and into our grant making relationships, how different would that look? I think if we get it right, the potential for change is enormous.